In this video, I'd like to discuss the bucket pin, the short dowel, and the axle for the front end loader. We should be able to use the exact same strategy for all three of them, because the only thing that's really different is the major diameter and the overall length. They all have the exact same chamfer on the ends. So I'm going to go ahead and go through, let's do the short dowel. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new sketch on my front view. I'm going to try to decide what is the overall diameter. And it looks like the overall diameter for this short dowel is a half an inch. So I'll create a circle and I'm going to put a dimension of a half an inch overall diameter. And that's it. I'll go ahead and finish the sketch. I'm going to go ahead and rotate it a little bit and now I'm going to extrude it whatever the overall depth is for that specific one. So it looks like one and a quarter. We'll go ahead and turn off our work features. And now we have our edge treatments. So again, save most of your edge treatments until the end. So it looks like we have a 0 0.03 by 45 degrees. So 45 degrees means it's same distance. So we'll go ahead and grab our chamfer. We're going to use the equal distance and 0 0.03. Remember, the equal distance is 45 degrees. And I should be able to pick both ends. So both ends are at 0.03, 45 degrees, and that's it. So all of them should be the exact same. All I have to do is change the major diameter and change the length, and then they're going to get the exact same chamfer on both ends. That should take care of the bucket pin, the short dowel, and the axle.